one falls, 30 minute time limit. From Jamaica, British, uh, British West Indies, weighing 275, Bearcat Rice. His opponent from Wilmington, Delaware, at 263, the Bulldog Brower. Well, this is about that everybody's been waiting for. The Bulldog, Dick Brower, against Bearcat Wright. And this bout came about last week when Bearcat Wright got uh, very exercised at the activities of Bulldog Brower, came down to ringside, went after him. The Bulldog fought back, and it resulted in a main event, a uh, co-main event between these two battlers tonight. And I'll tell you, we've been getting lots of letters from people who say this Dick the Bull Brower really goes out of his mind when he gets in that ring. And I, I uh, am not in a position to say that what happens to him, but I will tell you that if you get a close-up look up to what happens to his eyes and his face, and now you're beginning to get a little bit of it now, he twists that head around, he almost acts as though he works himself up into some kind of a fit. He's a powerful, stocky guy who comes from Wilmington, Delaware, but he's been making great strides in wrestling in Canada. In Toronto and Hamilton, he's been quite a star. Bearcat Wright working on now, however. Bearcat has about six inches in height and perhaps 15 or 20 pounds in weight. And there is no love lost between these two guys. Quite a difference in styles and sizes. There's a hammerlock by the Bearcat. And uh, he has enough height to go around in front now and get a front headlock on Bulldog Brower. Hammerlock and a front headlock. There's an unusual combination of holes. There's the elbow drive. drive to the neck of Bearcat Wright, and the Bearcat's in trouble. However, at this kind of fighting, Bulldog has got to lose. Because the Bearcat's an old heavyweight boxer, and when they start sparring with him, they're out of luck. Slash under the throat of Bulldog Brower. Bearcat had the Bulldog on the way out. And Bulldog may be faking a little bit here. You can't tell about these guys. They'll play possum on you. Once again, uh, Bearcat bangs that head into the corner of the turnbuckle. 
those fortunately are padded with rubber otherwise you'd be getting that right on the forehead on that iron bar bear hugged by the bulldog bear hugged by the bulldog on bear cat Bearcat on top here. Bulldog goes for the ropes, gets that one leg over the top, calls for a break. Bulldog broke it off. He said he's punching. And boy, Bearcat is. Woo, look at him give it to him. If this turns into a boxing match, the Bulldog is finished. Bearcat at one time was a good heavyweight fighter. Kathy Caprino giving the Bearcat a hard time. Bulldog Brower is acting more like a Pekingese right now. He took some pretty good shots there a moment or two ago. Burke, body smash. Bearcat gives him another with that shoulder right in his stomach. He's going, oh, he caught Captain Caprino. Caprino goes right out of the ring. The Bulldog is getting sabotaged. Whoa, look out, Bearcat ran into one. Now, uh, Bearcat going to town, or Bulldog. <laughs> Special police here at the auditorium. To break the hole up and to tear the Bulldog away. Look at it, he's going to take out everybody. What a wild man this guy is. He used an illegal choke to subdue Bearcat. He did get the press, however. The referee and several policemen trying to keep Bearcat right away from Bulldog Brower. This guy really goes all out. He gets that wild look in his eye. 